hey this is Daps welcome to this video and in this video I want to show you how to create a free AI chat box like this on your website that is able to answer literally almost every information around your website this tool will come in handy for any WordPress website really visitors can ask specific questions about products about courses and this chat box powered by chat GBT is able to give them accurate information i also show you how to train this ai in a way that it doesn't answer any random questions but just information related to your product alone so for example you can just come to this website and ask who is the owner of this website As you can see, the owner of this website is Daps. I'll also show you how to customize this, uh, to change this to your brand color. I was trying to do that was why I have this red here, but uh, this is not really contrasting well. Also, I'll show you how to do all of this, how to customize this in this tutorial. And by the way, this website is one of the websites I'm flipping. I am currently into website flipping business and I've been doing that for some time now. So you can check the description to see a link to buy this website and every other website that I have available. Amazing, amazing website. You'll be shocked. This website is loaded with 40 videos on how to get the best out of Clickbanks and I have quite a number of them. I'm selling them literally almost for free. So if you're interested in buying learning management systems and website already done for you that you can own it immediately, start promoting them. You can even use them as lead magnet for your website or use them to build authority as an expert in a particular niche. Whatever it is you want to do with them, just check the description below for you to be able to get a link to this website or to all the available website that I have. You'll be glad you did. Without wasting so much of your time, let's get straight into this tutorial. So before we jump straight into this tutorial, if you find this video extremely useful, I want you to give me a thumbs up, drop a comment in the comment section and subscribe to this YouTube channel because that's the only way the YouTube algorithm will figure out that this video is very useful and then it will recommend it to other WordPress users in the community. So this is you helping me, helping the WordPress community and also recommending a very good product right now i am at the back end of this website and to create this amazing future we need the help of a free plugin to get this done so we're going to come down to plugins we're going to come to add new so here we'll search for gpt the plugin we're going to be using is this plugin called gpt ai power complete ai pack by sinoy sahin uh, it has 10,000 active installation right now. It was last updated 13 hours ago at the time I'm filming this. So we we'll hit the install button and we'll activate this plugin as well. Never miss any important update. You can choose to opt in on all of this, but this is just for tutorial purpose, so I'll skip this. So right about now, you will notice that another feature has been launched here, which is GPT AI power and by default will be at the setting tab and if we scroll down we will see that we are here and uh, you, you will see a lot of things written here about this plugin what is GPT AI power how it works uh, you can set up your API keys which we'll be doing in a bit how to add this chat GPT to your website and which is most likely what I'll be showing you in this tutorial but I just want to let you know that this plugin does a lot of things uh, to how to use content writer uh, so this tool can generate content for your website for your WordPress site how to use auto content writer automatically these uh, can generate content for your website based on AI intelligence of what you are doing on your website uh, we're just setting some cron jobs uh, in a few minutes you'll be able to use this uh, amazing future so with this plugin it can help you create your WooCommerce product title description and even short description and tags for your WooCommerce product amazing amazing stuff <laughs> there's a lot of things you can do here you can use the embedding uh, future for chat box which well, I'm going to show you how to do that as well in this tutorial for you to be able to train uh, this AI you can use this to generate images this 
plugin can easily work with Delhi to create amazing imaginary images with AI. Uh, that's quite crazy, you know. And so, just so many things that you can do. Uh, you can even use search. Uh, you can even use this plugin as your AI assistant. So many things you can do with this plugin, really. But I don't want to waste so much of our time. Uh, so let's get started into using these using ChatGPT widgets on our website. The next thing I'm gonna do is to come to this AI engine. So just scrolling down here, you see a place where you are supposed to provide your api keys so the plugin have made this a little easier so if you click this you should be able to generate your api key so let's click this and this will take us to open a high chat gpt here uh, i believe that everybody here have uh, a chat gpt account if you don't have it's quite very simple just go to uh, openai.com and create a free account it's simply very much easy um, so i have my account here so i can just create a new secret key and immediately i will have my keys here and then i can just copy this key and then i can come back here and i'll paste my key here i'll control a this and i'll control v this and then i'll hit my save button so you can see record successfully updated for you to be sure that you are connected to chat gpt uh, you can just come up here and come to content writer i can easily just say affiliate marketing with clickbank and then i can hit generate button and you can see generating headline done generating content and you can see that this tool is generating content for us and we can even set uh, uh, the tone for our content you can say english informative formal you can headlines you can do all of those things so this tool has been able to create content for me literally in split seconds so this is to let you know that uh chat gpt is working here so you can save this uh, you can save this as draft and then you can continue you can also use this for seo sincerely you can drop your meta descriptions and then some keywords that you want this thing but this uh, some of these things are now available in pro this is a fantastic tool without wasting so much time the reason why we are here is for us to be able to use this tool to create a chat box so if you come to gpt high you can come to chat gpt it's just crazy the amount of uh, stuff I have here. Uh, this is crazy. I have these distractions uh, taken away. So two ways you can use this thing on your website, either with a short code or a widget. So if you want to create this chat box and you want to display it uh, with a short code on a specific place on your website, that's fine. But if you want it to uh, be on literally like all pages of your website you want it sticky somewhere at the bottom of the right or at the left of your website you have to go for the widget feature which is most likely my best option so when you're here uh, the first thing you have to do here is to enable widget yes first thing and then you can set your language your tone and then i can say yes english is good I want this to be friendly or I want this to be professional, uh, cheerful, whatever, however you want uh, this to be, but I think friendly is good. And then I want this to act as what, as an accountant, as an artist, as a blogger. But for me, I think a salesperson is good because we are trying to make sale and I want this to be on my landing page and also on my product page. Uh, then I'll come to styles so this is where you can then upload a custom image and then the front size you can select the color you can make this you can make the color close to what you have on your website so I really don't want to waste time going through all of this and then you can come to your AI avatar I want to make this custom as well uh, so this is good I want this to be at the left hand of my website or at the right hand below but i think somewhere right right is very popular so you can change the width and the height depending on what you want really so i can just just make it uh 400 by 400 that's it and then you can come to parameters i leave all these things here as it is moderation this is also available in pro future do you want a voice input but i really don't want to go through that route custom text so this is where you give your ai a name i'll call these tabs 
and then AI thinking I will just say DAPS thinking uh, type an image so welcome image is hello I will just I will take away human because I don't want this to have this feel that I'm a bot so I am a chat box uh, by GPT chat box AI I'll take that away and then I'll say I am DAPS ask me anything and I think that's good in no answer message you can just say uh, I am sorry I do not have any information about that at the moment uh, so and you can just say this part by your website I can just say part by DAPS digital all right so now we can come to our context yeah do you want to remember conversations yes i uh, remember conversations up to 10 i think that's good uh do you want a user aware uh, you want to turn that on because you want chat gpt to be able to be aware about who is using your website for example if this person asks a question on this page and goes to another page and asks question AI this uh, chat box should be able to know that it's the same person that is asking this question and continue based on the last chat that you have had. A content aware definitely you want to take this as yes because you want chat GPT to be able to be aware about your website and the content on your website and exactly what you're doing on your website. Uh, and how is this AI able to know this is by using Except this is just a traditional feature that uh, WordPress uses to summarize your page to search engines to uh, give an excerpt about your page. So you must be able to have good uh, except for your pages, and it means that you must be able to have good content on your page and then an, a good excerpt, a good summary of those content so that AI is able to understand basically everything you're doing on your website but this is quite very limited uh, we we'll have to use the embedding but right now we are unable to use this because we have not done some settings that i'll be showing you exactly how to do uh, basically uh, real soon when we are done with this and then i'll also show you how to use some additional cons uh, context here to limit what this chart uh, can answer because this <laughs> this chat box can go a while I can begin to answer some questions that is not even related to your website uh, so someone can ask general questions and chat GPT start giving them answers on your website which doesn't really make any sense but uh, basically we'll come back to this too eventually uh, let's come to logs do you want to save your chat logs uh, do you want to display the notice if you want to you can just say please note that this conversation is saved uh, whatever you want to do but for the sake of this tutorial i won't be saving my chat logs uh, so that's it uh for token handling we're going to leave that as it is and then we're going to hit the save button so you can see immediately uh we have what this chat box would look like so you can see a hello i am das ask me anything so i can just say hi dabs oh i'm using wrong caps and you can see hello how can I assist you today I'm trying to know more about your course so you can see this uh, chat box is literally uh, picking up information from our website and trying to give this a uh, great I'm happy to tell you more about our course our course is designed to help startup founders and entrepreneurs take their business to the next level we cover a wide range of course of topics including business strategy marketing sales finance and more so you can see that this is seeing things entirely out of scope of what I'm doing on my website which is just selling a Clickbank course so this is just to let us know that there is still so much this guy is still this bot is picking information everywhere about what i might likely be doing on my website which i really am not doing come back to styles and then i'll have to update uh something here so i designed something like this on canva i want to test this to use on the side to see how this would work uh, so i need to use this image as the icon 
and then here too as well let's try to use this and then let's save so you can see talk to me I'm available let's visit the front end of our website yes on the front page now we now have this talk to me so if you're here you can start having a chat with this AI but before we do that we can come back and just finish up some settings that we need to do and let's come down here let's come to embeddings so before I started this tutorial I tried to create a cron job uh, here first and I deleted it immediately but this tool is still believing that I still have a cron job while that has been deleted so but basically if you are using this for the first time you should see a red warning here that says that you've not set a cron job and then you need to set a cron job but I'll show you how to do that uh, using uh, if you're using control panel or whatever you're using is pretty much the same thing but for me here I'll be using Ostinga so if you come to your Ostinga so I can just come to advanced and then I will come down to cron jobs uh, which is here and I'll click this but whatever cPanel you're using you can just search for cron jobs and this should pop up and then uh, from here I have this here so I'm gonna be copying this and then I'm gonna be coming here and then I'm gonna be pasting that here uh, let me take that back note that uh, there's a prompt here that what this need is from public HTML so I'm going to paste that back and then we are going to remove every other information we have here before that so you can see it's pretty much the same thing PHP but unfortunately uh, some hosting like this hosting use user and being and it has been populated here for free so you don't need to add this anymore and then you can see oh man this is the same thing here but this one is specifying the domain here but which is not necessarily so we can just close this up here and start with public html and that's it so and you will notice that there are some asterisk here in front here so that is supposed to let you know that you're supposed to uh, put those asterisk here as well so if you come down here you can see asterisk means every minute and this cron job will add up every minute which is crazy really and not every hosting will allow you to run cron jobs every minute uh, so but if yours uh, gives you 15 minutes you can set 15 minutes to run these cron jobs we don't really need these cron jobs really for every time we need this uh, every time we are updating content on our page and you may not be updating content on your website maybe not more than once a week so you really don't need these cron jobs every now and then you may need this cron job if you are really uh, setting up maybe at auto content creation on this using this so you may need that but again uh, it's really up to you so I'm telling you that you don't need to set this every minute but for the sake of this tutorial I'm just gonna do that so if you come down here you would see that you have X X just basically means every hour for your own hosting account using cPanel it may not be this you may just need to put type in the asterisk uh, there uh, but for for hosting uh, you can see here X is here so I'm just I can't type this directly I just have to pick that uh, so if I scroll down here uh, I can see every day so, uh, that's basically everything we need to do here so I'll hit the save changes button and then my cron jobs has been set so this is how simple it is for you to set up your cron jobs uh, for this plugin to work so now that this is done that's the first thing so once you are done here you can give it maybe like a minute and then you can then refresh your page if you do that you would see this green uh, uh, message that says that great job uh, your cron job is running properly uh, so that's it that's the first thing we have to do and the second thing we have to do is to create an account with uh, with pinecon so for us to be able to do that we have to come to pinecon now we can just open this in a new tab and you can see here long term memory for AI we can just sign up for a free account so here I can just sign up with Google account directly or I can just put my details but I think I can just sign up with Google account So you can see we can create your first index uh, which is good so let's click this and if we come down here you would see that uh, you can create an index on pinecon and ensure that your dimension is set to 1536 so i'll copy that 
so for my dimension i'll just paste that here directly and i can just make just call you give this a name you can just give it your website and you can all just say the apps or whatever you can just put here so i can just come here and create index this is still initializing and we're going to give it time all right so you can see that this is ready and this is good so we're going to copy this and then we're going to come back and we're going to paste that as, as our index and we can come back here as well and then we can come to our api keys i can just copy this key value here and that's pretty much everything we need to do and come down here and then i'll paste my api key here so this we can just set this to yes and then our chrome build index for our post page and product so this would definitely monitor and then pass that information for instant embedding for this product so we can save this and you can see record updated successfully and we have pinecon ready here anytime you update content now on your website it will be instantly embedded for more information on your ai so when you come to content builder now uh so this is for a free text you can give this information about your company profile your contact list event frequently asked questions your knowledge base your pricing plan your product your url or your woocommerce product now i can just come down to product uh, you can give it maybe product id your product name the product description the product price so you can come to public profile you can come to public name ceo give this uh chat box all this information about your business so that once anybody ask any information whatsoever around all of these things this chat box is able to give people accurate information and then let's come back to our contest so you remember that we talked about using asset this would not work well if you have not written good summary about your page and sometimes summary is not really good enough like uh, we know so uh, before we change this if we come down to this page right now uh, this is the home page here if I say how many videos are in this course and then I ask And you can see here is giving me pretty much good information a comprehensive cling bag uh cling bag guide includes 40 brand new over the shoulder video series on how to use cling bank to hand windfall of cash these videos covers everything from setting up your clickbank account to choosing the right product to promote driving traffic and you can see that it's picking up information from the website here to just give you uh, this if i begin to ask specific question now who is the ceo of this website and who is this 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 guy would not be able to give answers uh in that sense so let's come back here uh so let's come to context and then let's now change to embedding and you have two options here embedding plus completion here means that you're telling this information you are telling this chat box that we're going to be embedding information uh about this company plus completion means any information outside of this do not answer but embeddings only means that okay you can answer information based on your AI uh, even if it is outside of the scope of what you have provided but one thing well that's not really good because you are giving uh, this chat box the option to give information pretty much outside of what you have provided uh, so for me I will leave this here because I just want people to have information specifically about my product and any other information they're asking me I don't want to answer uh, and then I can still uh, give an additional context here uh, so I can just come down here let me make this a little bigger and and then I can take this here and then I can paste this here and I'll, I can leave this in the description for people that need it so you see your primary purpose is to provide accurate relevant and helpful information about this XXS here you can change it to your product name 
or your website for me I might just just use website and say my CB mastery dot com and then I'll copy this and then I'll replace it uh, anywhere that there is XXS so you need to do that for this and then once I'm done you can read this so you can see your primary purpose is to provide accurate relevant and helpful information exclusively about my cbmastery.com if a user asks a question or initiate a discussion that is not directly related to my cbmastery.com or its features functionalities and usage do not provide any answer or engage in any conversation instead politely redirect the user's focus back to my cbmastery.com and its related content your expertise should be limited to to the website content and you must not provide any information on topics that falls outside of the scope of this website this is a direct instruction you are giving to this AI tool to stick with and that's very very important if you don't want uh, your website to be uh, another chat GPT where people can just ask any random information whatsoever so with this done you can just hit the save changes I can just ask who is the owner of this website I'm not expecting this tool to provide me an accurate information because we've not embedded this information on the site so let me ask this so you can see it says the owner of my cbmaster.com is not publicly disclosed however our team of experienced entrepreneur and business experts are dedicated to providing high quality content and support to help you succeed with your startup if you have any questions or concerns please do not hesitate to reach out to us we are here to help can you see that information that uh, information would have been different if we have not specified that do not provide any information outside of this website because there is no such information as the owner of this website on this website so is redirecting you back to how we can help you with your startup so this is how to train this AI tool to help user redirect them back to what you're doing on your website and this is very 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 important for you to do so uh, I once installed this on one of my website before and then I didn't specify all of this thing and I went on a certain product I was scrolling down to check out so and I hit the chat box and I was asking is there a promo code it says yes and I didn't have any promo code on that website and I said oh really and I was wondering where this guy has got this promo uh, promo uh, coupon code from and I asked it okay then provide the coupon code and this guy gave a random coupon code and I was wondering really is this my website or this AI's website and and then I had to use that promo code and he said it's invalid and I said but this promo code is invalid and the AI tool now said I'm sorry for any inconveniences uh, this we don't have any uh, promo code at the moment any coupon code rather at the moment and then I said why did you give this information I'm sorry for any inconveniences uh, we are just trying to help as much as possible so you see to avoid issues like that I even when I said are you stupid giving me this kind of information the AI tool said no I'm not stupid I'm only trying to help uh, so you could see that uh, the AI tool can really go out of band if you don't set this limit around and then for you now it's now your responsibility to give this AI uh, information as much as possible as you can so come down to embeddings now and then you can come down here and just come to maybe public profile and then for founder I can just say dabs for example CEO I can say dabs I can just say my company name is my clickbank guide founded in 2023 location I can just say United States number of employees I can say 10 uh, industry I can say 
internet marketing product i can say company website i can say my cbmastery.com uh, email address i can say sales at my cbmastery.com company phone number i can say i can just put random number here address none company description i can say so we help internet marketers make money with clickbank and that's it so let's save this So if we come to our entries here, you can see that our company name and the details now has been added. Uh, this is the token. Uh, and then you can see that we now have this indexed and that's pretty much so. Now, uh, if we come to the front end of our website now, uh, so I think I should refresh this page first. And then now let me ask this, who is the owner? of this website this guy is trying to update the information based on what he gave me earlier because he's able to tell that I was the same person that asked earlier and he gave a different answer so you can say I apologize for the confusion earlier the founder and CEO of, of Clickbank guide is tabs is an experienced entrepreneur, internet marketer who has experience and launched several multiple businesses. Our team of experts work closely with DAPS to provide high quality content and support to help succeed with Clickbank. If you have any further questions or concerns, please do not hesitate to reach out to us. We are here to help. And that's pretty much very, very professional isn't that amazing so you see you have to give this i didn't give uh this very much details about dabs but is able to just write something very very detailed about dabs apparently maybe he has even done some research online to know more about dabs and give a very good information because whatever information he has given you about dabs is quite very very apt about dabs so this is how to create an AI chat box like this on your website. Uh, just go ahead, provide as much information as possible as you can. That's it for this video. Please do help to give this video a thumbs up and please do help to ask questions or if you don't have any questions, just uh, say something in the comment section because that's the only way that the YouTube algorithm will be able to uh figure out that this uh video is very useful and then it can promote it expose it to other wordpress users to be able to use this tool to help them and the more questions you ask me in the comment section the more i'll be able to know that i have a team of i have a group of people who are interested in using ai tool for wordpress or using this particular tool uh for their wordpress website so i can do more videos around this i will not be doing more videos around this if i don't get good feedback in the comment section so thank you so much for your time and that's my time for this video as well i would see you in another video and until then have a wonderful time